plastic training rounds. It's actually a plastic bullet, plastic casing, everything. The Germans use these for training. We're gonna show you everything about these today. This is gonna be awesome. You can even put them in an M134 minigun. Yeah. over today is we're going to talk about a few things with this with this ammo we're going to talk about how far to go what did it penetrate through like what did it go through we're going to do all kinds of different tests and we're going to talk about what kind of guns you could use it in so this is going to be an exciting one stay tuned for this whole thing you will not be disappointed so the only guns you could shoot these this ammo through would be a bolt action rifle because you're manually putting a new round in every time it's not off recoil uh the g3 which had a special bolt they made for it though, so it, it would accept the recoil and still allow it to cycle. Any other semi-automatic rifle, it would not cycle. You'd have to manually do it yourself. Also, the minigun, it works perfect on, because the minigun runs off electricity. It does not run off recoil. It's not recoil operated at all. So literally, you hit that button with no rounds in it, the minigun still goes. So it's perfect for it. It allows it to still function, still shoot the same speed and everything. So for the minigun, for me, Shooting down these radio control planes or, you know, the rentals or anything like that. It's awesome because it's safe. I could shoot it in the air. It's going to go a couple hundred yards only and then fall. And even we've, we're going to show you all kinds of uh, penetrating things today that, like, at 100 yards, it really starts to lose velocity big time. By 200 yards, a person could get shot with it. It would be less than a paintball hitting them. I guarantee that. We're not going to do it. I don't want to take the chance of it, but I'm just telling you that's how it is. So main purpose for them inventing these plastic training rounds was a German army... They had the G3, that was their service rifle. They wanted something cheaper to train with, less lethal, uh, safer. So everybody's wondering how far these plastic bolts will go. And I'm gonna show you right now. We're do, gonna do some other tests too, but right here, the pavilion I was shooting from with the minigun when I was shooting the planes is right over that hill that way. We were shooting this way. Right here is about 200 to 210 yards away from that pavilion. And there's bullets everywhere on the ground. See that, they've hit nothing. They're all, because they just, they just floating around in air and just completely die off. But they're all over on the ground everywhere. Here's another one here. Look at them all over here. So this is when I was shooting at the RC planes, 200 and some yards. But we're going to show you another test, too. We're going to see how far these plastic bolts go, because a lot of people have been asking. We're shooting that way towards the lake. The edge of that lake is about 275 yards, just roughly. Uh, maybe 250 yards. We're gonna measure it afterwards, but we're gonna shoot to see where bullets land in the water So we know how far they'll go and I'm gonna shoot straight ahead to see what a fall or not. So here we go So with this ammo, it has a lot less recoil. So, for instance, like I could shoot the minigun with it from the hip, which there's no way I could ever do that with regular ammo because with the, with the plastic bullets, it has about maybe 50 pounds of torque, which I could hold that. If you use regular lead ammo, it's like 450 pounds of torque. You couldn't hold it. You'd lose control of it and go crazy. So with that, I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to shoot from the hip. It's pretty cool, but I would only do this with blanks or plastic ammo. Never try it with regular ammo. Nobody could hold that. It would be insane.
So that's pretty cool. And guess what? If any of you ever want to shoot machine guns, I have my own business, 76 Armory Machine Gun Rental. We're in Ohio. I have a lot of people come from other states and stuff, so it's pretty cool. I'm going to give you all the information. Call us, email us, whatever, if you want to come shoot some machine guns. We have a lot of cool stuff. We have a whole website that tells you everything we have. So another thing is YouTube demonetizes gun channels. So I'm not making any money from my views like I should be or ads. I only get, I only get money from sponsors or from selling shirts and merchandise. So right now we got some awesome shirts here. So if you want to buy some Columbia War Machine shirts, really appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. They're actually very comfortable, awesome shirts, not them cheap cardboard ones. And they're pretty cool. We got all kinds of cool colors. We got from small all the way up to 3X. Uh, go to my website. I'm going to put the information in here, 76armory.com, for my machine gun rentals or my shirts. Help us out. Thank you. This one got annihilated. Look at this thing. It had no chance. It literally hit it like 30 times and took it out of commission. So we're going to see how far away you have to be for one of the plastic training rounds to break a window. We're going to start off at like 150 yards work our way closer and keep shooting it and see what it takes how close we have to be for it to finally break the window to show what kind of penetrating power it has so we're 150 yards away from this car window we're going to shoot it with the plastic ammo see if it'll break it if it doesn't we'll keep moving closer and see how far we have to be away to break a little car window so we're getting ready to shoot 110 yards away shoot the window to see if it breaks with the plastic bullet So at 150 yards, it didn't break it. We went up to 110 yards, and here's where it's hitting all these different scuds, and it didn't break it. So we're going to keep moving closer until we hit it and break so it. So we're yeah. 76 yards away. It didn't break at 110 yards. 76 yards, we're going to see if we can crack the window. So even at 76 yards, it wouldn't break this window. Hit, hit. We'll keep moving up until we break it. Okay, we're 48 yards away from the window now. Let's see if we can break it now. Oh. Yep, I think we broke it. So we shot it several times. This is from 48 yards away, it finally broke it. But even at 76 yards, it would not break it. So there you go. Plastic bullets, you gotta basically be 50 yards away for it to break even glass. 134. Plastic blue tip bullets versus cinder block wall. Let's see what happens. Tip the cinder block wall, didn't break it apart, but look at all these that are stuck in the wood. And we're about 45 yards away shooting this. So look at all those stuck in the wood and look at all these that bounced right off of the cinder block wall. So it did do some little chipping though, surprisingly. So now let's see what real ammo would do. Okay, M134 tracer 308 rounds versus a uh, cinder block wall. Let's see what this does. Here's one of the bullets getting smashed, plastic bullets. It looks like one might have went through. The rest all just made dents. So at 50 yards, this won't even go through this 10. We're going to keep moving it up in 10 yard increments to see where they'll all go through. So. You 
went into it, but look how many of these bolts are stuck halfway into it. So still not totally penetrating it. You're about half and half, but we do have we do have a few penetrations and a few half stuck. So we're gonna move it up 10 more yards and see if we can get them all to go through. We're gonna try it 30 yards now. Let's do it. So look at this. Definitely destroying more and making bigger holes. And a lot of them went into it. 30 yards, definitely lethal. Now we're gonna try 20. We go at 20 yards, let's try it. yards completely lethal look at the holes that thing's making nothing really bounced off just some shredded pieces and every one of them penetrated and went in so we definitely got some damage at 20 100 lethal for sure so here's what it did it shredded the front of this thing only one made it through both sides, but I bet inside there's a bunch. Oh yeah, look at that. So this is Wellfit American's fridge. We had, he had to get rid of it, and he had to get like what's called a commercial size fridge to hold a little bit more. This just wasn't enough for him, so we're gonna take care of this the old fashioned way for him. Give it some holes, yeah. So that fridge is at 45 yards away. We got the plastic German training rounds. We're gonna shoot about maybe 40, 50 into it, see what it'll do, and keep moving it up until we shoot all the way through it with them. Yep. So here we are at 45 yards. None of the plastic bolts went into the fridge. Here's what it does. It totally smashes them. For all the critics out there who think these would go a ton too. It dented the fridge, but none went in there. Oh, one. One made it in here. Two. Two bullets made it into the first layer. The rest just dented it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move it 10 yards closer, shoot it again, and keep doing it until we eventually shoot all the way through it. Okay, we're at 21 yards. 21 yards, let's see what this thing will do. I'm gonna try and shoot it the top part, like where the freezer is, see if they'll go all the way through it. 21 yards, here we go. Here we go. So the main point here today, which might sound very ridiculous, and probably is, is if somebody's shooting at you with plastic bullets, can you hide behind a refrigerator? And I guess the question you have to ask yourself is, if it's a well-fed American's refrigerator, it's probably pretty full. So you're probably going to be pretty safe even more than this. If not, it's sketchy. I don't know. So let's see if 15 yards away you'd be safe if somebody was shooting at you with plastic bullets. Let's go check. First we'll check here. Yeah, shredded up pretty good, but <clears throat> I'm not sure we made it through. No new dents. You would be safe. So at this... With this metal back here, you would be safe. So at the, at 10 the... yards away, we're a fridge. We turned it sideways so the steel plates in the back, which it wouldn't go through. I got about maybe 80 to 90 rounds here. We're going to shred this. I just want to show you what just dumping a 90 round belt into that point blank would be and how fast and devastating this is. But if we had this 45 yards away, it just dents the fridge. It doesn't even go through it. That's a hot, lot of holes very quickly. Let's see if it went completely through on this one. Ooh. Some did. There's a bolt that's actually stuck. We had maybe about three or four rounds. There's one, look at that, those are stuck in it and it dented it up pretty good. So it shredded it up. <laughs> But only a few rounds made it through. So this, I'm trying to show you these plastic rounds. You could have some fun with them, but they're way less lethal. Could you imagine a regular round would just be ripping right through that like nothing, even at 50 yards or way further. So these are fun to shoot, but way less lethal is the whole point of this. And actually you would have been safe behind the refrigerator when you had the steel plate, even if somebody was shooting at you from 10 yards away. 
but we can still have fun like shooting the RC planes because they're styrofoam and it, they only go 200, 300 yards. So awesome. Here's PJ's woman friend over there. Well, she's kind of a woman, more like an object, but PJ uses her. We're gonna see if we can cut her in half with the minigun here. We got 400 rounds loaded up. Let's do it. This should do it right here. I got a real good feeling about this one. PJ's little toy is going to be half what it used to be when I get done with this. So this is a federal 175 grain 308 round. We're gonna shoot the plate at 70 yards, see what kind of knockdown power it is. Then try the plastic dag ammo. Now we're gonna try the plastic bullet. So we hit right there with the 175 grain lead ammo. And here's where we hit with the plastic bullet. So it basically just took a little chip off the paint right there. So if you guys haven't checked out the part one plane versus M134 video, you wanna check it out, go back, it's out now. Part two is coming out September 13th, seven o'clock on that Wednesday. And I'm telling you, it is gonna be one of the best YouTube videos you've ever seen. It is gonna be awesome, way better than part one. I have planes like this with a seven foot wingspan. Look at this, seven foot wingspan up here. We have helicopters, we have rockets, we got spy balloons, more fighter jets. I mean, we have, all kinds of cool stuff. This is gonna be one, bomber planes. This is gonna be one of the best videos you've ever seen. Do not wanna miss it, September 13th. Two 810 Thunderbolt Warthogs. These things are badass. These things are gonna take out well fed American right off the rip. P47 Razorback, fully armed.